The Collection Log. In the previous episode of Generate Task, we visited Kriara and managed to pull the Armadil Hilt as our first Armadil Unique. We then got the second to last champion scroll, the first piece of the Zealot's outfit from Shades of Morton, and gave our freshly acquired Armadil Godsword a golden special attack effect from LMS. We then got the last naval set from Trouble Brewing and finished the episode with Dragon Limbs from Rune Dragons. Today we will be starting with some agility training as our first task is to get the last mysterious page from the Hallowed Sepulchre. Before we start the agility grind, I'd first like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Buildbox. If you're someone that has an idea for a new game but you don't have any knowledge on how to code one, Buildbox is the perfect place to start. It's a game development software that requires no previous coding or design experience. In fact, Buildbox is the number one no-code platform used for several games in the top 100 of the App Store. With Buildbox, you can easily build, preview and publish a variety of different game types and make money from them all in one place. It comes with a game wizard that will guide you through the different steps required to create your first game quickly and easily. And by by using the template and asset library, you can find everything you might need to help build whichever world you want to create. You can start creating for free right now with both Buildbox Classic and Buildbox 3, and once your game is fully ready, you can opt into one of their paid plans to help you publish the game to both Play Store and App Store so you too can start making money. Download Buildbox for free and start making your own game without any coding right now by clicking the link in the description or pinned comment. Thanks again to Buildbox for sponsoring this video, now let's get into the grind. So like I said, we need 92 agility for floor 5 of Hallowed Sepulchre, and this is unboostable, so we need to actually get the level. I'm 88 right now, but I do have 276 summer pies in the bank, which should be more than enough to constantly boost myself to 90 plus, and then I can just run the RD rooftop course. So that's definitely the plan, that's what I'm going for, so time to head out to the RD rooftops, and we'll be running laps for 4 agility levels. It's gonna take a while, but it's not too bad. No way, my very first arty rooftop lap has been completed and of course that's an elite task in the diary as well so that one is already done now oh my god there's no way i just got the giant squirrel <laughs> i wanted this one so badly i i was saying this earlier i really hope i get the squirrel pet this is my first killing pet on the account and i have the dark acorn as well to metamorph it i can't believe it i'm so happy look at him Oh my god, wow. I was just chilling here, running with my friend, and I just got the squirrel. I cannot believe it. Dude, my pets are insane. I can't, I don't know what to say anymore. <laughs> Let's go grab the dark acorn from. Oh, my marks of grace! My marks! Run! <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so how does this work? Do I just use the dark acorn on the squirrel? No, wait, do I need to put it on the floor and then use the dark acorn on it? Okay, there we- Oh my god, look at him, he's amazing! Holy shit! Oh, that is so nice. You can switch between the two as well, but this is so cool. I need to get some fashion scape going with some black and red to match with this little fella. Dude, these two pets recently have just been amazing. I'm so happy with this. There we go, first agility level flying in, 89 agility, we can now use the hard revenant shortcuts, awesome, 479 RD labs done in one go already, pretty chill, but it'll take a while to get to 92, also already 118 marks of gray, so those are stacking up nicely as well. Huge moment on the account right here. You can hear my voice is still pretty fucked, but yeah, I've been a little bit sick the last few days. But there's 90 agility. That means we can now officially use the Ardoin cores and I will no longer have to use these stupid summer pies the entire time, which will make it so much nicer. You know, I've been thinking I should probably do some alks while doing this because I have so many items in my alk tab. But I'll be honest, I just don't really feel like doing it. <coughs> <coughs> I'm dying. It's a lot more effort and I just don't really need the money <laughs> right now. So I think I'm just going to continue running laps and getting the agility XP. Just two more days of agility and we'll be done. And that is 
The third day of agility coming to an end with level 91 right here. Another 10 hours done, something like that at least. And another, I want to say 11 hours to go. 1806 laps on the RD rooftops. 470 marks of grace and just one more level to go now until we can hit up the hallowed sepulcher floor 5 for that final page for our task so tomorrow should be the last day of training and then we are good to go and complete our task the moment we have all been waiting for the very last gap to jump we made it to the finish line. 680 marks of grace have been obtained. That's going to be a lot of stamina potions right there, which will be very nice. And 2,575 RD rooftop laps have been completed in four days, pretty much, to reach 92 agility. And we can now head on over to the Hello Sepulchre floor 5 to try and get the mysterious page, which... I believe it's only 1 in 10 chance to get it every time you loot a chest, so it will be very common and it shouldn't take too long at all to finally complete this task now. Let's head on over, let's get that page! Alright, here we are at the Held Sepulchre, just need to get this mysterious page now and then all that will be left is the Ring of Endurance, but that's not something we'll go for in the Elite tier. Maybe one day I'll grind out the Ring of Endurance, but I already know that I really hate floor 5 based on my experience in the league so i might not even reach the grand coffin i probably won't to be honest i'll probably just loot the chest at the start and call it a day <laughs> but yeah one in ten chance shouldn't take too long i just got the basic um, items with me that i need to loot on floor 5 i think i'm just gonna skip everything else because i'm just gonna get the page as fast as possible so let's get going all right, we've made it to the first chest i also got new pb on floor two and three i guess because i always looted it up until now and this was the first time I just skipped the chest uh, floor 4 I was kind of struggling I'm not gonna lie let's see if we get the page straight away on the first search on floor 5 here we go oh we get another strange old lockpick I guess I'll take it let's see if I can make it to the second chest as well I wait I forgot my crossbow no shit oh god damn it I actually made it to this one as well. I guess I maybe should have ran to the big uh, place, the big coffin, because now I'm not going to make it in time, but it's whatever. I don't even know if you can get the page there. Anyways, we did make it to the third coffin as well, and here we get a rune to hander. Unfortunately, out of time. I'm actually quite surprised that I made it through this part without getting hit once, so th that's a good thing, right? I did struggle a bit before that but it is what it is okay first run done two coffins open not the greatest i'll bring my crossbow next time i will keep sending it and today i learned that you should not bring an armadale crossbow because apparently the obelisk senses your loyalty to another god and steals some of your energy from you what if i unequip it okay that works <laughs> there's a new pb for floor four and floor two again as well 229 blood runes that's not bad actually Okay, I... Okay, let me tell you. I hate this place. Fuck Floor 5. I am never going for the Ring of Adventures. I just failed... Oh, shut up, Betty Lucky. <laughs> God damn it. Another Floor 3 PB. One minute, uh, one second. Speedy. There it is. Mysterious page on Floor 5 has been obtained. We are done. No more sepulchre. I'm still gonna try to finish this run, maybe make it to the Grand Coffin, who knows. We'll get that Ring of Endurance on 1kc, let's try. Whew, we actually made it, okay, nice, let's go. Let's get that one Grand Coffin kc and see, well, dude, just imagine we get the ring now, that would actually be amazing, wouldn't it? Close, but the, no cigar, we got a rune two-hander, but at least we have the 1kc now, and maybe one day we'll try and go for it again. But that is not today. Today we finish our task and we get a new one. The very last unique from the Hello Sepulchre task. Done with it. See you later, Hello Sepulchre. Never visiting that place anytime soon again. 53% elite. Quickly on to the next one. Oh, oh, <laughs> I feel like I just keep getting these now all of a sudden. Like the first half of the Elite tier, I was not getting any of these. And now I'm just getting them almost back to back to back. Back to God Wars Dungeon. Back to Kriara. We will get our first armor piece this time around. Let's hope we get that helm for the master clues as well. That would be amazing. 
Now, the only sad thing is that I do still have an AVNC stars, but it's only 23 more to go. So that is like basically six kills that I can do on this Slayer task. But that's fine. We can just start with one Arma trip, get those six kills and, uh, you know, see if we can squeeze in a few more without being on task. And then after that, we'll hunt for a new AVNC task. But first, let's do a quick farm run. And this is why I wanted to do a quick farm run before starting the grind. Because we are hitting a milestone level here, brothers. Level 90 farming. Another level 90 non-combat skill. They've been coming in quickly lately, not gonna lie. We had the smithing, we got the crafting, we got the agility just now. And now we also have 90 farming. Fire making is close, cooking is getting close. We're getting up there. Very nice. We can now grow redwood trees even. Shout out Semlan. Cheeky egg from the birdhouse run. Sad. Right, think I checked everything. We should be good to go back to Armadale. If I'm not forgetting anything here, I think the setup looks all right. Last time, if you remember, I mean, it's not been that long, <laughs> but uh, we got the first unique, which was the Armadale Hilt at 57 kill count. So now it is time to get one of these three Armadale armor pieces, which will be one in 127 to get one of these. So let's get started. I have one more ecumenical key as well, which works out pretty well for this one more trip of at least six kills. All right, the Slayer task has been completed. We got six kills in this trip. Let's see how many we can get without being on a Slayer task. I feel like it'll be pretty rough though. Actually, I'm just gonna call it there because I started dying and I was not hitting much at all. So we're just gonna call it the day on that trip. <laughs> I'll just go back to tutorial, skipping, try and get another AVNC Slayer task and then we can come back and continue to grind. Holy shit, I already got 233 AVNCs again. That was literally after like, I want to say four tasks maybe. I did bears, crawling hands, scorpions and bears. That is literally all the tutorial skipping I had to do. Because that's when I completed the AVNC task. Lovely, that's actually perfect. 233 as well, that's a good amount, let's go. And there we have it. That is five ecumenical keys at the ready once again. It's time to head out, kill some more Kree. All right, end of the first trip of the task. Pretty good one, I'd say. That was 18 kills. So yeah, pretty happy with that one. Still had a lot of brews left, but I ran out of prayer potions and ranging potions. So we're going to call it there. I was thinking about bringing ancient braces so I could do the next banking methods, but I feel like it doesn't really matter that much. I don't really mind getting the ecumenical keys anyway, so it's kind of whatever. But yeah, good first trip, 81 total KC now, not too bad. Also, with that hard clue I just got, I was able to get another master clue and I turned in all the other clues I had, which means with one more hard clue, I have another master clue. So that's pretty nice. I'm just going to quickly try and get the casket because I may as well. There it is, casket number three that goes in the bank. We have another master clue pretty much stored at Watson as well. So that is beautiful for the next master clue task. There we go, elite combat task, Kriara veteran. We've already killed Kriara a hundred times in total now, 43 times on this task. Nothing worth mentioning just yet, but pretty solid trip so far. The previous one, I broke my PB with 18 kills and I think I'm gonna break it again here. So that's really nice actually. 22 kills in one trip, look at me go. Another four extra on top of the previous PB of the last trip. We are absolutely gaming right now. That's gonna be the end of the third trip, which was... 19 kills again and also the end of the slayer task so i am gonna get out of here before i die to kree and we are gonna tutorial skip again for a new avnc task that went by really quickly by the way 233 avncs and it was completed in three trips so i'm pretty happy with how things are going over at arma we are up to 122 total kc now basically five kills away i guess in total from the drop rate of the first armor piece we'll take it and we have another AVNC task. Again, didn't take too long, less than an hour pretty much of tutorial skipping, so quite happy with that again. Wow, actually, what a terrible trip that was. 10 kills, and I, I was struggling throughout with literally every kill. Everything just went terribly wrong. But this time around, I did bring my ancient blessing so I can try to use the next bank instead. So that's exactly what I'm gonna try to do now, because this trip is basically over i don't really have anything left it's, it's tragic 
actually pretty nice and easy. You know, just kill some spiritual mages. They count for like five or six essence each on every kill. So you can pretty quickly get up to the 40 ancient KC right there. So you can enter the bank right here. Really nice, actually. I think I might just keep doing this for all my uh, arma grinds. Okay, actually, that is so much better than teleporting out and coming back with an ecumenical key and a Trollheim tab. That's a big improvement, actually. I, I don't know why I didn't do this before. I'm not gonna lie. All right, new record again, thanks to the next banking. We got a 23 kill trip in there. Very, very nice. 155 total KC now, 98 kills on the task. Overall, already over the drop rate for the first piece of armor. Oh my god, we got the chain skirt! It's not the helm, but we got the item on kill number 100 on this grind. I'll take it. Oh my god, 24 mil? I didn't even know it was that much. Unfortunately, probably the worst item to get as far as the armor set goes, because obviously we really want to get the helm for the master clues, and the plate body is just the best item overall, I guess. But you know what? It's fine. I'm done with my task. I got the item I want. It's okay. Maybe we'll get another Godward's Dungeon task, and then we still have a Slayer task of 86 more AVNCs. God, I'm just mostly happy that I'm able to complete tasks like this within literally one day. I'm, you know, making a lot of gains, as I've said before. 54% elite. Let's keep it up. Let's keep completing at least one task every day and we'll be done with the elite in no time. Next task. Oh, that's not as quick, is it? Oh my god, Leverage and Drainer Elite Diary. Honestly, really happy with this one because this will this will mean I won't need my Draymond staff anymore for my fairing in my house and that's gonna be so nice. But it also means we will have to get the quest cave. So we'll have to complete all of the remaining quests that I still have to do, which is a decent amount, I think. I'm not even sure how many. I think I want to say it's around like 20, maybe. We'll have a look in a second. I'm not sure what the other tasks are, but I guess we'll have a gander. Actually, it looks like I pretty much have all of the requirements other than the quest cave. I mean, 75 woodcutting, but I literally have 72, so I can just drag an X back for that one. So I literally am able to do all of the tasks right here other than the quest cave mode. And I just checked, I only have 12 quests remaining. Uh, 142 out of 154. Let's have a quick look at the list that we still have to do. Right, so these are the quests we still have to do. A few quick ones, to be fair. Fucking Monk's Friend is one that I haven't done yet. Can you imagine? After all this time, a poor scene of interest. Very, very quick. Haven't finished Troll Romance. Tribal Totem, that's like a five minute quest. Obviously, Rag and Bone Man 1 and 2 as well, and some others. But honestly, it doesn't look too bad at all. So I guess I'll just start chomping down on these quests and do all of the steps for the diary right at the end, all at once to complete it. Uh, I think I'm gonna start with the yellow quest that I already have started, and I want to end with Monk's Friend, because I just feel like that sounds funny, ending with such an easy quest that usually a lot of people do at the start of the account. So let's start with Olaf's quest. Okay, this was actually really, really quick as well. I kind of forgot how quick Olaf's quest was, but there's the first one done. Let's move on to Troll Romance. I think that should be the end of Troll Romance right there. That was very quick as well. All I had to do was get a flower and kill the guy. So there we go, Troll Romance done. Moving on swiftly to the next one. There we go, Devious Mines also completed. On to the next one. Let's do Forgettable Tale, start that one, because we'll have to wait a little bit, I think. And then while we wait, we can probably complete one more quest in between. Getting ahead done, finally got ahead, so that's good. I think I still have to wait for my hops to grow for this quest, so let's do another one. Let's do a night at the theater. Okay, woohoo, we did it, a night at the theater completed. We get an antique lamp as well, no way. 20k hit points XP, let's go! Our hops have grown for Forgettable Tale, so we can continue that until we have to wait again, and then we'll do a poor scene of interest. Done! Forgettable Tale of a Drunken Dwarf has been completed. We even get some dra Dwarven Stout M, which I'm just gonna drop, because I'm not gonna waste bank space on that. That'll do. That's gonna be another quest done right here, a poor scene of interest. I'm gonna wait with Rag and Bone Man. I'm gonna do Tribal Totem and What Lies Below now, and then we'll do Rag and Bone Man 1 and 2, and then we'll finish off the quest cave with Monk's Friend. That's the plan. And there's Tribal Totem done already as well. Thieving XP, some sorties. Moving on to What Lies Below. Let's go. 
complete the quest, give me the XP. That is what lies below. Done. All right, that should be the end of Rag and Bone Man 1, right? Now, this is where the real fun begins. Rag and Bone Man 2. We cleaned all the bones in Gilanor. We got it. We completed the second to last quest. And now, the hardest one remains. Becoming a friend with a monk. We are getting the quest cape. It's time to party with Brother Omad in a monastery. Party! Whoop! Let's go! Bugs friend completed 290 quest points. No more quests to complete. 290 out of 290. That looks amazing. All quests done in the game. Let's go grab that quest cave. Let's complete the Lumbridge Elite Diary. Can I buy quest cape, please? Thank you, sir. There we go. Look at that. Now let's do the emote. Boom. Eee. Lovely. That is the elite task done. Let's get the others done as well. Let's smith an adamant plate buddy right here in the drainer sewers next to Ruantun. There we go. That'll do for another task with the water runes. Lovely. All right, I better get these magic logs before my woodcutting level drops from the Dragon X special attack. Go on. Okay, we got them. Nice. Let's go pickpocket this guy real quick. There we go. One more task remaining. Is this a rich chest? I don't know. It is. Let's go. We did it. We completed the elite tasks in the Lumbridge and Drainer area. Now we can go and talk to the most obnoxious NPC in the game to claim our reward. Let's go. Here we are, Mr. Hacius Cassantus. There we go. Explorer's Ring 4 and another XP lamp that we're gonna throw on Herblor for a nice chunk of 50,000 Herblor XP. And now we can ditch our Draymond stuff. Let's go. No need to, no longer. No longer need that piece of garbage. Lovely. Really happy with that one. Let's go to the next task. We've already got four diary tasks done now, so we are catching up. About five hours of questing later and we have completed another elite diary. There we go. Two tasks, one day. Very nice. What will we start with tomorrow? Yes! More raids! Back to TOA and let's get ourselves the Osmonton's Fang, shall we? I want to get the Fang so badly. I really hope I can get it. But we'll see what happens. But we're going back to TOA. It's going to be either the last gem, which is a red gem, or our first purple. We have 45 TOA raids done already. So I think it's time to get that first purple this time around. Let's go. First run back. 46 overall, KC. Do we get our first purple? No, we do not, unfortunately. Ba -da. There's no way I get the- Oh my god, man, come on, man. I mean, I guess we have all the gems now. The gems have been collected. <laughs> Eye of the Corruptor on the first run, wow. I mean, I guess that's the task done then, isn't it? Nice. I'll take it, it's fine. Well, that means now there's only purples left to get here, so that is a-okay, you know? I mean, <laughs> We have all the gems, nice. All the gems and two threats in 46 normal TOA runs. It's okay, you know, we'll just get back-to-back -back raid stars and we can stay here and get our first purple and then we can get the fang. That's the plan, let's go. <laughs> the fastest raid task ever. I guess we can get the back-to-back, -back. why not? 55% elite now, into... Well, it's a Hydra unique again, so it's time to get a new Hydra task, which I think I'll just Turial skip for again. Yeah, probably. I, I, I don't know. I didn't mind Turial skipping for the AVNC task, so I feel like I'll just do the same thing again for the Hydra task, and then we can get our next Hydra unique hopefully very soon in the first Slayer task we get. Okay, that, that is pretty funny. That That's very funny, Jagex. The first task I get from Konar is AVNCs in the God Wars dungeon. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and there's the Hydra task already. It didn't take long at all, like 15 minutes, and we have 177 Hydras to kill. Let's go. So we're starting this task with 247kc. Oh my god, I have the claw! Oh my fucking god! <laughs> 257 KC, that was 11 kills in the Slayer task. What is happening, dude, lately? I have no idea anymore, but I will gladly take that one. 
Jesus Christ, get out of here. Holy shit. Dude, how is this possible? 43 mil? Wow, that's amazing. How is it possible that I have 257 KC with the leather, the claw, and the tail without a single piece of the ring without the heads? That is insane. But I will gladly take it. Oh my god, man. Wow. 11 kills for the claw. What do you mean? <laughs> Wow, that's amazing. I guess I can go and make that Dragon Hunter Lance now, but at the same time, I think I want to keep the Hasta for now, because that's still my best stab weapon on non-dragon creatures, right? Oh, boy, that's insane. Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> wow. Bro, like, <laughs> before I got into the Elite here, I was like, this shit is gonna be so hard, but now I'm just easily flying through it like it's no man's business at all <laughs> let's just quickly get the next oh shit oh a unique oh a piece of the dagon high robes my god uh well i guess it's the wilderness that we have to traverse once more and now it's time to get some wilderness slayer tasks so we can get those larens keys and then try and get one of the dagon high rope pieces. i'm not even sure what the drop rate is but they're quite rare so we'll ha probably have to get quite some larens keys then again i say that but with my recent luck maybe i'll just get it on the first key who knows let's go do some wildy slayer in the next episode the wilderness awaits us as we'll grind for that first piece of the dagon high outfit thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did make sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you haven't already i'll talk to you all soon in the next episode and until then have a good one and take care